Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Right in my previous video, I've shown you on how to use the Godox X1 as your wireless shutter release. Right, so in this video, I'm going to show you on how to use your Godox X1 with an Icon Speedlight SB910. Right, um, please note that uh, this method might be able to use for the Canon or Sony. Uh, however, I haven't tried that yet. Alright, but you might want to take note and try it on your Canon or Sony Speedlights itself. Right? Um, I did a few tests before coming on live on this video all right, on the Godox X1. Uh, sadly to say that um, the trigger only functions as a wireless trigger, meaning it only helps to trigger the flash as and when you press your shutter button. However, it does not uh, allow us to control the power from the transmitter itself. So I did some further tests and I managed to find a work around it. Okay, so play close at, pay close attention to this video. All right, I'm going to show you and hope you're able to enjoy your shoot. All right, so let's turn on the transmitter and the receiver first since that's what it says in the manual right and right now we're going to turn on the DSLR and the speed light okay when you turn on your SB910 set it to master set it to the highest level switch which is the master right Make sure that it's in group A as the same in the receiver and the transmitter. Both the receiver and transmitter right now is in group A, channel 1. All right, so make sure you have the same settings for the master itself on the Nikon Speedlight SB910. Set to group A, channel 1, TTL. Take note, TTL, not manual, TTL. All right, so right now... The flash power on the transmitter itself is 1 over 128. Let's do a test. Right. Very little power. Now we are going to increase to full power. Right. Full power on the transmitter. Check it out right right so this is the way that uh, you can control the power of your speed light using the Godox X1 right some of us may have been trying to figure out uh, how to use this for quite a while so take note right group A channel 1 if you are using group B the same thing if you are using multiple channels or multiple groups set it to TTL right the group and the channel. Alright, hope this helps. Bye!